and welcome back to my channel. Just a little update about my life. I just graduated from college this Sunday and I'm off to my first big adventure which is exploring the Netherlands for two weeks. I am going to be traveling solo. I haven't traveled this way in about a year. I will be hopping from hostel to hostel, visiting all sorts of different towns in the Netherlands and I will be basically living out of a backpack for two weeks. And I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to share with you guys how to pack a backpack. Now the packing list I will be showing you is one you can use for a week vacation, two week, month vacation, year vacation. This is just my general go-to packing list. It works for basically all mild climates. I don't pack anything for harsh winters. Depending on what your exact location is, you can kind of adjust it to that. Uh, the reason I pack so little clothes, no matter how long I am staying in a country, is because of the beauty of washing machines. You can just reuse things over and over again. So without further ado, let's get started. In terms of what I'll be wearing on the plane, I'll be wearing this black hat. Um, since I can't fit it in my bag, as well as this uh, feather necklace, I got it Forever 21. Two bangles, because I think it's so important to travel with a couple of accessories. These are all I'll be using in all of my outfits. A uh, black camisole and these tribal print pants, as well as my Ipanema sandals, which I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, so this is everything that I'm packing, everything that is surrounding me. Um, basically, this is it. This is what's going to last me two weeks in the Netherlands. I pack everything in my REI backpack. I really like this one. I wrote a review about it, and I can leave a link down below. I love that it's front um, storage here so that I can access everything easily. It comes with a rain cover. It has a pocket for a water bottle and a lot, a lot of pockets for storage. So this is a really good bag to take with me, and it fits basically everything plus so much room. Getting into all of the random knick-knacky stuff I have to pack before I even start, um, I always pack a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated. I enter the airport with this empty and um, then fill it up once I get through security. I also pack converters um, and a power strip because I have so many things I need to keep charged with all my batteries so it's really nice to have these things with me. Since I'll be staying in hostels, I also pack a couple of locks. This one will be for my travel locker. And these are for my bags themselves. I also pack a microfiber towel since it allows me to dry off super quickly and this dries very quickly and I can pack it when I'm in a hurry. Um, it doesn't get everything wet and it folds down very small. And also a silk um, sleeping cover. This one is a dream sack and it's made of 100% silk and it's great if your hostel beds are kind of gross or if you're a little bit worried about how often they clean them, this will, um, you can just sleep on this inside of your bed and it just makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. I also pack an eye mask because I cannot sleep with any, like if there's just like a little bit of sunlight, I still like, can't sleep. Even if it's just like, you know, 5 a.m. the sun's rising, I will be wide awake if I'm not wearing this thing. In addition, so many of these kind bars because I get starving and I always have to eat, so um, these will be good for me. For a day bag, I'll be using this bag from Overland Equipment. I've had this for years. I don't know where I got it, um, but I love it because there's a place I can kind of put money in to easily access, and it has a zipper where I can put my wallet and like phone and stuff like that. So. Um, I really like this. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but it's very functional to have um, around my side with my um, travel equipment bag on the back so I can easily access things if I need them. Speaking of my travel equipment bag, I won't be covering that in this video. Um, however, subscribe and look forward to that one coming up soon. I'll be talking about all the gear I carry with me and the bag I carry it in. I also pack an unlocked phone. I don't know if I'll be using this in the Netherlands, but it's always nice to have in case of emergencies. In addition to packing everything in my backpack, I like to keep things organized with e-bags. This is a big e-bag that I will either use to store my stuff in or I'll use as a laundry bag um, as I get towards the end of my trip to know which clothes are dirty and which ones aren't. And then I also like to pack uh, underwear and socks because everybody needs those apparently and it's nice to have them. And I use a smaller e-bag to keep my socks and underwear in. I usually pack a week's worth of socks and underwear. Sometimes more if I'm feeling like a little bit, you know, hesitant to do my laundry places. Um, so this, in this case, I packed 11. Okay, now getting into all the stuff. Also, don't mind the mess behind me. I literally just moved into this room today, so I'm still trying to get it all organized. Anyway. I love to try out different fashion things when I am visiting another country since I know that nobody will judge me so I am going to be wearing this hat. I think it's so cute. I'm really loving it and I'll be wearing this on the plane since I don't have room for it in my bag. 
Another accessory I love to carry with me is a scarf. This one is a really, really big scarf that I can even use um, to lay on the beach if I would like to. I have a lot of different outfits I can wear this with if it starts to get uh, a little bit chilly. Uh, so it's really important to carry this. Moving into pants, I will be bringing along some black jeans as well as a pair of really old American Eagle skinny jeans. The reason I'm bringing these, they have a hole in the knee, which makes me so sad because these are my favorite jeans. However, I like to bring old jeans with me when I travel so I can just throw them out at the end. That's always a great option is to bring clothes that you think you're gonna get rid of after your trip so that if you really wanna collect a lot of souvenirs, you can just chuck them right at the end and have room for more things. So I'll be bringing these jeans as well. I am somewhat addicted to shorts and I'll probably not be bringing all of these, but I usually stick to maybe two or three of these four pairs. I usually like to bring a pair of regular blue jean shorts, white shorts, black shorts, and some tan shorts. In terms of dresses, I like to bring just a basic black dress that is very light. I can wear this during the daytime if I'm wanting a more like street scene -y kind of look or I could dress it up at night. I'm also bringing just a day dress. This one is tan. I've been debating between this one and a floral dress one, which I usually bring. However, I think I'm gonna bring this since it's more of an urban environment I'll be in. I'll also be bringing pajamas. These ones are from Victoria's Secret. It's a really nice pink and white, cute little color that matches my eye mask. And as far as shoes that I'm bringing, I'm bringing my white Converse that are so, so trashed out. But as well as some running shoes because I do plan to do some running in the morning in the parks. And if you're a reader of my blog, you'll know that my favorite sandal to travel with is the Ipanema sandals. I wrote a review about them and what I love so much about them is that they are made of rubber and they look super cute on, which means that they're great to bring to the beach, they're great to wear out, you can use them in your hostel shower even if it's gross. Um, however, recently, yesterday actually, they broke and I was so sad because they've lasted me a year and a half. Um, which is longer than any sandals have lasted me before and it's so essential for me to bring them So I had them rush delivered to me. I got a brand new pair that I'll be wearing on the plane These are the rose gold Ipanemas that I just got um, I love the color. This is exactly what I was wanting. So I'll be wearing these on the plane tomorrow I will also be bringing a Michael Kors uh, down jacket I love it because it keeps me very warm since it's insulated and it packs up into a super small little ball uh, that makes it very, very easy to travel with. I'll also be bringing a belt since for some reason I never buy the right size pants and always have to wear a belt or else they'll fall off of me. One of my favorite fashion accessories is a chambray shirt. I wrote a blog post about this a couple months ago and all the different ways you can wear it. Um, I think it is so important to have this. I might actually wear this on the plane with me or if I don't do that, I'll be wearing this cardigan, um, which is also important to carry it to layer up if it gets cold. I also like to bring a sweater just in case um, it does get chilly. I have something to keep me warm. Two other long shirt items that I like to bring are just a basic black long sleeve shirt as well as more of a dressier shirt. This one is a white blouse. I got it Forever 21. It has, it ties in a bow in the front. I can put a picture on my Instagram for you guys to see. Um, but I think it'll look really cute. We are almost done. I just have a couple more things to show you guys. I like to bring four tanks and four t-shirts to um, any place that I go to. Um, sometimes I don't wear them all, sometimes I do, but it's nice to have options. I tend to be an overpacker, so I always like to have my options. This one is a Gonzaga shirt I just got because I just graduated this Sunday, um, so I'll be bringing that to rep my school. I also am bringing a white peasanty looking blouse I got at Target. I am always, always obsessed with V-necks. And the last short sleeve shirt is this maroon and white striped shirt. I think it's great to have a pop of color every now and then. As you can tell, my wardrobe tends to be very minimalist, very neutral, so this will give me a nice pop of color. In terms of my tanks, I'll be bringing a navy and white tank, a tribal print tank, a white crop top kind of thing. And my favorite, this gray racerback shirt. And lastly, since apparently I have decided I'm gonna get fit, I'm bringing an uh, exercise shirt and exercise shorts. I might actually have to pa pack another um, shirt because it'll probably get very stinky after a while. So yeah, that's basically everything. In addition to all that, of course, I'm bringing my makeup, which I will link a video to down below of the makeup I like to carry with me, as well as like my toiletries and stuff like that. 
that is basically it. I will show you now how I pack it all. So whenever I am packing things, I'm always rolling them. This will allow you to not have wrinkles in your clothes and it also lets you fit the most things you could possibly fit into your bag. So I'm just rolling through all of my stuff real quick. So I'm going to fast forward this part. really nicely and now I'm going to start by putting my shoes in to the bag first. I usually like to stick the shoes into like the corner areas um, to support the bag and give it a little bit more structure. Uh, I know that everything's probably gonna end up falling towards the bottom anyway but eh, it's the thought that counts. Then I'm gonna put my bulkiest items in first. I'm gonna stick those at the bottom. I really don't have a lot of bulky things except for maybe this jacket and my jeans and Some these ones as well. And I'll also put my underwear bag at the bottom, my towel, uh, my silk sleeping bag. And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my e-bag and kinda just put a couple of things in here. I don't really have any preference of what's gonna go in here. I might actually put it all. And stick it into the top part of this bag. And basically everything else I'm just gonna stick into wherever I can. Um, oops, I gotta re-roll that. I'm really gonna utilize every little crevice you can. This I'll be wearing, so I'm gonna set aside. This I'll be taking my carry-on, so I'll set aside. This will also be taking my carry-on. These I'll just stick kind of on top. My adapter I'll put over here. Power cord in here. I think that's it. This is so weird. I feel like there should be more. Then I will lastly stick my toiletry and um, make a bag in there on top. I still have room for souvenirs, which is nice. Then I'll put my water bottle in the side here. Um, I can put something on top if I really want to, but I don't think I have anything else. So that is it, folks. This is everything that I will be bringing with me to Europe. Then when I am going onto the plane, I will be wearing this blue chambray shirt. Probably, just because I don't really care how I look at the airport, I'll probably put this cardigan over it too to consolidate. And then once I get past the cardigan, I can take it all off. So there's a lot of different layers here. This will keep me really warm. I'm gonna have my hat and I will put my crossbody bag on for me when I go through the check-in. Um, I will put this bag on my back. This kind of looks low-key ridiculous, but I, I mean, you don't, people don't really care when you're traveling how ridiculous you look. I'm just gonna adjust this strap here. Then my travel bag, which will have the tripod I'm using right now on the side, will go on my front. And this is it, this is Fashion Mom, look it up. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Feel free to adapt this. Um, exact packing list however you'd like depending on the climate you'll be going to. I know it's not complete and I probably missed a couple of things that I can go back and annotate down below um, but I really hope you found this helpful. Make sure to check out my videos to come. I'll be exploring three to four maybe fantastic cities in the Netherlands. So make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, like, share with your friends, and follow my other social media links. That is enough self-promotion for now. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for making all my dreams come true by watching this video. I gotta go rest and catch a plane tomorrow. Remember to keep the spirit of a tourist in the mind of a local. Whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown, I love you guys. See you later. Mwah. Bye.